Hey everyone, welcome to Nat's Fibre Planet. Hope you are well. Um, I have I'm really sorry that I haven't posted any videos lately. Um, it has been a bit crazy with personal stuff. Um, but we're kind of sorted a thing out where we we have we have got a good um routine going. So it's all looking up now, thank God, because that took that took some going. So today I'm going to show you all the things that I've made um, with my spinning and how I'm getting on with all that and what I've made so far in the last few months. So the first two I'm going to show you are what I've made on the blending board and then spun up and then plied together. So this is the first one. I've named this one Tutti Fruity because it just reminded me of the old Tutti Fruity sweets that was in the purple packet. Look like the different multicolored sweets. I've got there. And I have used it and that's how it's crocheted up. Which is really, really good. I'm really happy with that. It does look like two fruities. So yeah, I've blended, bought some cheap fibres on eBay and just used them all and blended them up. But I like the pinks here and then it goes to purples and then you've got some oranges and greens. So yeah, that does remind me of the sweets from Tutti Fruity. And that was really nice to spin as well. I've never rolled spun on a row lag before it was it was hard because i don't know if i made it too tight or didn't make it right um so yeah it was a bit different to spin i haven't made um i haven't drafted from the blending board i don't really have one of those dis dizzer things but i have made made one from an a really old um, crochet hook. You know, when you put your crochet hook to see what size it is, if it's not, I don't know, I'm not making any sense, but it was one of those, oh my God. It was one of those um, and it did work well, but I don't think I did it right. So this is another one that I've done on the blending board. And I've plied it, two plied together. Where's the camera? there and it has it hasn't unraveled at the end and i don't know how i did that because all the others seem to like this one oh it's on my piece of work so it doesn't really matter but it starts to do that and i'm not sure and that bit there as well i'm not sure how to i did wash and set it as well ew um but i'll figure it out anyway um, this is another one I've done. I think this, I bought the uh, fibre from Etsy, I think. I really can't remember, but this is the pinks, purples and yellows and a little bit of green. It's not really sort of true to colour there, sort of, ah, there. And that's not, it's like a roving style type of like, thick and thin yarn that I've got there. So there's like the thin bit and it goes thick, which I really like, like the thick type yarn. It looks really cool. Not sure, I've got all of these and I have no idea um, what I'm gonna make with it. So, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but Maybe some, oh maybe some socks or something with this one. This is one of Sadie's fibers that she's hand dyed. And I really like this one. I'm not sure what to call it because it looks like a, like a type of spring garden. It's not really focusing right. But yeah, it's like the pinks and the purples. She's got some nice purple there. 
um, maybe some maybe some socks. I'm not sure yet. And um, this is the Cheviot. It's Cheviot or Dorset. It does feel like Dorset um, fibre that me and Harvey um, hand dyed. And the colours have actually come out better than I thought. And the twist has stayed in sort of to the end. But it has... And I used Dylon dyes. And the colour is actually quite bright. Like in some places you get like a real pop of like yellow and pink. Although it says red on the... Um, it says red on the packet and it comes out like a really deep purple. And then these are another two of Sadie's yarns that I brought for my birthday. But it does need rehanging and sorting out. I'm not sure what type of twist and um, what type of ply. I think it's like a tiny bit thicker in some places and it's balanced. It's one of my only few that are actually balanced. Some of them are over twisted on one side and then I've retwisted it as I applied and it's gone the other way. But yeah, actually one of them that is balanced. If I hold it up straight, try and get it, the bottom bit in frame. really really proud of that but i've only been doing it for a few months since april may june july august so it's not that long really i am getting <coughs> i am getting there god rob's coughing his coughing in the background this one um i haven't plied <laughs> it needs plying because I wanted to see if, because I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm still getting the like over twist, that it twists on itself here and that. But I'm, I've still got to figure out what I'm doing wrong there. As you can see, it is really over twisted, but I've got to cake it up and ply it on itself anyway. But I really like this one and this one were two different colours, but they have come out like this one's got more blue. Oh, I don't know, actually. But yeah, they were two different colours. And they just remind me of like lavender fields. Like this one's a lot darker. Don't know if it's going to pick it up, but you can see a slight difference. Um, so I need to I need to apply this on itself anyway. Um, I have tried chain ply, but yeah, I'm not the best at it. So I think I'm going to do a Sadie and pull an all nighter. I think try and do it and watch Sadie on her videos a bit more, um, or maybe like spin at the same time she's spinning on her video and see um, if I can try and pick it up that way. This is another one. I'm not sure what to call this one either. There's pinks, purples, oranges, yellows, greens. And I absolutely love this one. I think this one's also overspun a little bit. Oh, no, this one's balanced as well. Hmm. I not know what I talk about. But yeah, I really like, it's got some like peachy, like here, like this. It's like a purple on one strand and then a peach on the other. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so the purple ones do need washing and thwack, thwacking, is it thwacking? I actually don't know. I might've just made my own word up there. Um, so yeah, I've done a 
bit more to show you. I have been rather busy spinning. I do have one, um, I've got the Paul, was it Paul with a Perindale? I think it's Perindale um, rainbow fibre that I got from Sadie. To finish, ah, oh, there we go, that's better. No, there's that peach one, just here. Really, really pretty. I'm not sure what to call that one either. Um, I've got a couple of mini ones. So I've got this little one. I'm not sure how I've, I've got this one, but this is uh, different shades of purple and green. Um, I think this might have been the only one, the spun, no, that's balanced as well. So this is just a little, probably about 10 grams. But yeah, this one's really, really cute. Really, really cute. So I am, I'm getting there. When I first started spinning, I was like, mm, I'm never going to get this. So I kept emailing Sadie, bless her. Um, am I doing this right? This one I've twisted. It's two separate ones. And I've completely messed them up. So these ones have... Oh, I'm, they haven't been plied yet. As you can tell by the uh, massive over twist. But I actually quite the way it looks. It looks quite cute so yeah so i spun this um this is cheviot so i spun it up first and then i dyed it using dylons dylon dyes and then i've got to uh cake them up and then ply them both together after i've sorted all the um the massive tangle i've got at the end i'm trying to hide um so yeah, I have been a bit busy with like family and stuff, but every five minutes I get, I am literally spinning. So I've got a bit of um, speckled dye there and pink. I use blue, yellow and pink. So I've got some oranges and some purples and some greens. I mean, look at that green. That is so cute. Really pretty green. And my last one is like a roving, thick and thin style. Um, this is another one I dyed, but as you can tell at the bottom, it's sort of twists just a little tiny bit on it on itself. Um, I could ply it together, but I quite like the uh, the sort of roving, thick. Um, style to it which is really really cute I'm not sure what to make with it yet either I had all these plans like oh I'm gonna get so much yarn and I want to make this and I want to make that and oh Willow is snoring so loud um, I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna make that and all this sort of stuff and then I've made loads of yarn and I'm like oops make with it but I'm pretty sure that something will come up and I'll be like oh yeah I've got some yarn for that uh yeah so I am now I've got into a routine with everything um I should be hopefully doing some videos every week that's the plan um I've got some cheviot to spin up i might half it and spin up and then dye it and then leave it as it is dye it and then spin it so i've got like a little a little challenge to do um i've managed to get some citric acid so i'm going to be trying dialon with that um so yeah next time i do a video it will be um I keep trying to do a live on Facebook and I freak myself out and I don't do it. So, yeah, so I will, I will do one at one point on my little um, Nats Fiber Planet page, hopefully. 
Um, I will get Maleficent out again, um, do a little spin video of the Perrindale rainbow fibre from Sadie Spincraft. Um, everything that I've used, the Dylon dies, the, um, if you are new to spinning and you want to try it, the best place to go is Gillian Eve or Sadie Spincraft. They are absolute goddesses of the spin world. Um, they are amazing. Um, so yeah, I am so thankful for all you guys sticking with me and thank you for the new subscribers. Love you all so much. Um, it, I really love it and appreciate it. Um, welcome back to all my other subscribers, my old ones. I love you. Yeah, so I'm going to spin while the little ones are outside, I think. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, yeah, so I love you all guys so much. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon. Love you, bye.